So what is up bosses, it's your boy boss Fat One, and welcome to a game called Dia. So this is a brand new horror game that released over on itch.io. As usual, there will be a link in the description if you want to play it for yourself. But let's begin, shall we? And we just start off like that. So Dia has a population of now one. Okay, I guess that's us then. It's a weird freaking shadow we got going on here. So I guess, well, we're the only one here. And at the beginning it said that this is a non-jump. I mean, well, there was a population of two, but that guy died. It's a non-jump scare horror game, and there's going to be no one chasing after me, apparently. So, nice to know. We have a note here in a really freaking small environment. Thank you for your contribution to this city. Lovely. I mean, I'm the only one here, so I'm the only one that's able to do any contributing of some kind. Okay. That guy freaking died quickly, or is that... That seems to be the same guy. He just keeps... Let's just check. Still only population one. I want that to keep like that because as soon as there's population two, I just assume that there's someone that wants to kill me. We have some writing on the wall here that says the monster don't find... Oh, the monster didn't find me inside the tower. I was about to say, correct your grammar, but there's nothing wrong with that. What is that? There is something wrong with that. Freaking TV remote, I think this is. Or a phone, maybe. Or a radio, never mind. I just assumed it was a TV remote because it sounds like we saw, uh... We saw, it sounds like we heard static from a TV. Okay, I can't run as well, so we're just stuck at a freaking snail's pace. Like, is this even a pace? Once again, there was a population of two, but we're now back down to one. That was freaking strange. So, when someone's falling, they're apparently alive. That guy was alive for a split second, and now he's being freaking possessed, it seems like. They all look the freaking same. What is wrong with your leg? Freaking robot leg. Pretty desolate area, literally. We're the only freaking person here. Well, I've already messed up then. It's a dead man. Oh, really? What am I saying? But if, if anyone is out there... Weird way of doing subtitles. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know where you're freaking calling from because apparently there's only a population of one here which is just consists of me and that's it. Well, we have a nice shot of... Hello, can you open the gate? We have a nice shot of the population one there, so I assume that's going to change. I said there's zero people in the city before I entered. Are you outside the city? Population 2, that's probably her then. What? No, I'm here. There's also that body after you. Dude, get in. So there's actually a population of three then. Or is she the body after me? It says now a population of two, or maybe it's just a bit... Uh, Maybe it's just a bit out of sync was what I was trying to say there. We have a bench here. I thought there was a note on that. Never mind. Retract that statement. Okay, we got to the sign again. Let me guess it's going to go out to a population of two now or never mind. So it's still not registering that that woman's here. It's still just registering that the body's here. And I realize I'm not meant to freaking go near the body, am I? So it is just that body constantly following us. So there should consistently be at least a population of two. The voice of Dia will guide me. I don't really want to trust Dia if that's the woman talking to us because she might be controlling this sign here. Just like that. That might be Dia freaking doing that. And what is this now? Who freaking built this place? This is weird. And why is there only me and this body chasing me and this supposedly real life woman? Oh god, back up to population two, are we? Back down to population one, never mind. Just have to walk past these areas. To, for them to actually register. Okay, you're not gonna do anything. Wonderful. We have a ghost bin. Oh, never mind, it is a real life bin. We just had to get close to it for it to actually register. And now the developers decided to make the floor non-existent, which is wonderful. Or maybe it is existent, just too freaking dark to see. And I freaking see you there, bro. Got some more stairs leading up to wherever the f I have literally no idea at this point. I still am completely freaking clueless as to the plot of this game. Which I guess is just a body's following you and trying to kill you. I guess that's it. But it says population one, so I guess the body's still where it was the last time I saw it. Oh no, the body's freaking back. I mean, it's not much of a threat though, is it? It's more of a, like, Did jump scare. You? You You're freaking tower? more of a jump scare. I'm Jesus, that scared me more than the freaking body. You see the tower? Come here quick. So I guess population two meaning- Oh god, what is this? This isn't not where I wanted to freaking be. What does it say now? 
Population three? One. Starting to freaking trust you less and less, Dia, if that is in fact your real name. Still says population one, but as we know from the last seven minutes I've been playing this game, as soon as we pass this is gonna freaking change. Or maybe not. Maybe we have to pass this one over here, the last one for it to change. And Jesus Christ, bro, can you go any freaking slower, please? I wanna, I wanna take in this moment. You're going way too freaking fast. But of course, we're now back to population of two. So where's the body gonna come out from this time? Is it gonna come out from the floor, maybe? And rise up and stab me in the neck? I'd like that. That would kill me and get me out of wherever this is. And we have that freaking gun from Subnautica. It's actually bright in this area, which is a freaking miracle. Okay, I think we get it. We have four signs here that tells us there's a freaking population of two. I think we get it at this point. It's locked. It's not something I can click on. Usually I can click on them and then Dia will respond. Or the whole of the lights will go out. Wait, you have to unlock the door with the lights off? Oh god. That is freaking creepy, man. That is freaking terrifying. And, oh god. Are we that person? What the frick is that? We're inside the wall a bit there. Wait, so I was correct then. It was Dia trapping me. Thank you for your contribution to the city. Yes, I freaking knew it. It was. She was trapping us, so every person that goes to that area, which I guess the area is called Dia, not the woman, every person that goes there gets trapped, and they are supposedly... Oh wait, I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. Okay, well, I mean, bro, like, anyone can freaking do that. I've seen this done many times. Yes, that is my name, thank you. Thank you for telling the people, in case any of you didn't know that, I did say it at the beginning. But there we go, thank you for playing Dia. The moral of the story is, if you find an area that has a population of one, and then it goes to two, and then it goes back to one straight away, get the f*** out of there as quickly as you can. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is a game called Dia. Of course, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check out the game for yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please give a like if you did. Subscribe for our brand new boy, Boss Fat One. Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, peace. Thank you.